what I was thinking about is how important it is for people to try more than one class. You can't just go to one class and assume that all the classes are like that. There's different instructors, there's different formats, there's different levels of intensity. So you can't just go to one class and decide that wasn't for you because it was too challenging or maybe you didn't like the personality of the instructor, that that instructor's personality didn't, lap, didn't match yours. Maybe you like somebody, a, a class that's a little more cheerleading-like, a little more fun, a little more wild and crazy uh, than the class you took. So you need, to, you need to try more than one class. You, maybe you go to a class and you're 50 years old and everybody in the class is 21 years old and you feel really out of it. They're not all like that. We have lots of classes with all, all sorts of different age groups uh, playing all kinds of different music. We have any, maybe you want something very calm. Maybe you're a professional athlete and you want something incredibly challenging and tough. We have everything in between those two. So keep trying. If you go in, stand by the back door. That's a great thing. Stand by the back door. Leave after 10 minutes if it's just, you feel like it's not for you. Um, it's always a great idea to wave at the instructor as you walk out, though, because they might think there's something wrong and follow you out. Um, but n nobody's going to point you out or yell at you if you walk out of the class. It's just to try it for a few minutes. If you have to leave, you have to leave. It's fine. Stand by the back door or wherever is comfortable. Um, I was just thinking of a conversation I had with a lady who was saying she thinks she might want to try a group class because she was kind of feeling like she wasn't really proceeding well with her fitness uh, trying trying it by herself so she said I was thinking about maybe just starting out with simply stretch like you know she felt like that was real wimpy or she almost felt like you know, she was she was she was just taking the easy way out to do simply stretch I said great start with simply stretch Start with that. Get used to the room. See how see how a class is formatted. Get used to the way every every everything is in the room and how the room feels. So you're comfortable in your environment. And then maybe you watch a little bit of the next class and say, "Gee, maybe I'll I'll stay for that class this next time." Um, simply stretch is a great way to start out. Those classes are fabulous. You feel great after you if you do a stretch class and not necessarily high intensity. Um, either, but that's a great way to start. Lots of 30-minute classes. 30 minutes. Yeah, just about anybody can fit 20 to 30 minutes into their schedule. If you don't think you have enough time, we have lots of classes that are only 20, 30 minutes. Um, I try those. It's important too to kind of decide, really think, decide what you really like. And what do you really want to do? Well, I really just like slow, quiet music. I just want to relax. I just want to relax because I'm so stressed. I'll, I have a high intensity job. Um, I know I need cardio, but uh, the, but in a class situation, I feel like I just I, I want I want to feel peace and quiet. With yoga classes. We have yoga classes all over the place. Uh, again, are simply stretch classes. We have all different kinds of yoga classes. Again, if one doesn't suit you, try another one. I'll just assume they're all like that because they're not. All different. We have 80 different instructors, 920 classes a month. Um, oh, I, I, I grew up dancing. I just love to dance. You, dance attack, Zumba, something like that. Uh, Trina's uh, Tuesday, Thursday morning cardio class. I can't think of the name of right now. Because <laughs> um, we just changed it not too long ago. Uh, that's that's what you would, you feel like you have two left feet. Um, but you want some basic cardio. Maybe you want to do power cardio. Very, very basic. Um, <laughs> it's something other than you like variety. You don't want any type of coordination. You don't want anything, any rhythmic dancing, any choreographed dance type moves at all. Circuit classes. 
you, you go from one station to another. You have a station of BOSU set up. You have a station of stability balls over here. You maybe you have jump ropes over here. And the instructor takes you through every station and, and allows you to uh, do a lot of different things. The class goes by real fast, lots of variety, um, even going outside. You go outside for a run. Uh, all of our circuit classes are, are great. Uh, so look for those circuit type classes. Um, cycle classes, you just, again, you don't feel like you have any rhythm. You, you don't want anything choreographed. You don't want to have to move to the beat of the music. Um, but you want cardio. Somebody's told you, your doctor told you, you need to do more cardio. Cycle classes, incredible. Get your heart rate up, just an amazing um, amount of cardio uh, in, a, in a fun group atmosphere. Again, the same thing. Every single class and every single instructor has their own style and type of music that they play. Um, maybe you don't like any lyrics, so you go to a, a, the class that maybe just has just has instrumental type of music. Maybe you like music with lyrics that you, you can remember from the 70s and 80s that you can sing along to. You know, those classes too. I'm talking about psycho classes still. Um, psycho classes are so easy. Don't let psycho classes intimidate you either because the room is dark. You go sit on a bike and you just start pedaling. Uh, we have a monitor and the instructor will say, uh, bring your lever up so your monitor says level 12. Well, nobody's going to go over and look at your monitor and and say, hey, you, you're only at level 7. Get up to a 12. It's up to you. It's your ride. You go to whatever level you want. The instructor's only there to suggest that you should be at level 12. Nobody knows how you... You could be riding with no tension at all on your lever. So you're just... You're, you're riding the whole... Just come in there and ride. Don't even use the resistance. Um, just to get an idea about bike fit and what it feels to be in a cycle class. Don't let cycle classes intimidate you. They don't have to be... They don't have to be high intensity. Uh, they can be if you follow everything the instructor says, but nobody's going to... Nobody knows what level you're at. You're the only one that can look at that monitor and know what intensity you're cycling at. Uh, the room is dark, for heaven's sake. I mean, if anyone has a question about how to get started or what class to go to, I am thrilled to talk to them on the phone, on an email. Actually, phone's always better because I can't type very well. But um, Call me. I'll meet you. We'll set up an appointment. We'll talk. I can figure out what class is best for you if, if I get to know you and um, you, you kind of give me a little idea about what you're looking for in a class a situation. I loved, I'd love to talk to you. I know all the classes. I know all the instructors. Um, I'll give you a, a list of classes I think might, might work for you. Um, and I'll rattle on and on just like I'm doing here for, um, for hours about group exercise because I love it and I'm a, I'm a firm believer in group exercise. People who do group exercise continue their exercise program. They stick with it. They meet friends. They're excited to go there. They get to see their friends. They get to exercise with a friend. They get to glance over at their friend and go roll their eyes and, you know, or, or clap when they hear a song they like or it's just um, exercise is a great, it's a great way to, to meet people and be with people.